the back of the car here. Um, just working out how to do these front legs. Uh, one way that can be done is sort of make a mock-up and we, uh, yeah, then get a uh, something to follow when you go to bend. So what I've done in this situation, I'll just turn the camera around. What we've done is basically use a couple of bits of rod. Um, I tacked it on up here. And that carries on. Um, I was tacked on the next rod that followed the the car and tacked on another rod that followed the down to the bottom, um, which is where I want the, the leg to finish. Um, so now I've got a template. So I'll give myself an extra 100 mil each end uh, to be able to notch off later. And then we'll, well, which I'm about to do now, make sure it all fits all perfect, and then we'll move on to some footing boxes. Bit of a progress update here. So what we've got is some bracing plates welded to the floor here, well to this um, sill. Uh, luckily in um, these MX-5s they're pretty thick. Um, obviously that's taking the whole load of the car, being that there is no roof, sort of, in this case. Um, so yeah, we brace underneath completely, um, that's 3mm mil, three mil cold rolled. We then, I built a um, box to go on top that I've gusseted on the inside. That'll go there. Um, you want the, um, the bottom plate to be bigger than the plate going over top. Um, that obviously spreads the load out, gets welds. Um, not on top of each other um, and yeah so we've got about 10 to 15 mil of um, overhang the whole way around um, and then I'll cap in these ends um, and that'll complete the box and there you have it all welded in looks the part is the part both sides done now nice and strong ready for those front legs so we'll get those in now. We have bent up a windscreen bar, got that welded in. Um, so that had four bends in it. Um, so it tucks it nice and tight, happy with that. So we're just working on some seat mounts at the moment. Um, these cars are small. <laughs> um, that's what we've uh, come to the conclusion of. I'm six foot three and yeah, it's not gonna really be a car that I can drive. Um, so we come up with some seat mounts um, to lower these rails. These are factory um, MX-5 rails, um, the ones that came out of this car. Um, we have um, drilled out the um, rivets that hold the um, plates on here. There's like some um, stepped plates that raise these up quite a way, about 50 mil or so. Um, so yeah, what we've done is made some uh, five mil um, plates, um, just out of mild steel. Um, they say the minimum is uh, three mil, I tend to like overdoing seat mounts. Uh, it's what holds you in the car and saves your life, so it's uh, really important in my opinion. So the slider used to sit here and about here. Um, we've got a seat that is 400 mil wide. We want to drop the seat between the sliders to get it down as low as possible. Um, so it's going to sit, yeah, basically on the floor here um, as much as possible anyway. Um, yeah, so that's uh, turned out all right. I made some spacer rods um, so I can work without having a, a nice new seat in here. Um, so these are 400 mil wide um, seats from the outside to outside. So cut some bits of uh, aluminium rod and uh, threaded them up. So nice and easy. It means that I can take it in and out, in and out without uh, worrying about the seat getting damaged.
as you can see, that's the main the main cage welded in. Um, front legs all welded in now. Fully down there. Got this cool, crazy bastard up at the top, which I'm quite happy with. Sort of makes makes the look of the car. I like how it follows the the top of the car um, or the roof um, when the roof will be off. Um, yeah, so overall. Pretty happy with that. So side intrusion now. So it's going to bring it down pretty much from about here. Nice steep angle and then along. Then probably have another bar coming along here and we'll join them with a couple of droppers or something. So I'll work on that next. Front here, we're looking at getting some bracing plates in here. In here. Um, so, looks as well as strength um, ties the A pillar to the cage. So, I just go ahead and cut a cardboard um, template, work out where I want everything, um, what diameter holes I can fit in here. So, I've gone through and marked these at 50mm hole centers, um, something consistent uh, depending on obviously your hole diameter. Um, this is one that I've just finished making. I'll show you how I dimple these in a couple of seconds. But yeah, that fits up in there. Something like, something like that. So yeah, finish the, finishes the look of the car. Um, yeah, so, and it obviously adds quite a bit of strength. This is out of 1.6 cold roll. Um, so here's another one I've made for the other side. Um, I've gone through and as I use pretty much the same template um, and got a, um, I've got a chassis punch um, that I use which is a hydraulic um, punch, look them up, um, very simple, um, punches the holes through, creates little um, punched out circles, you drill a hole first and then you punch the wee nice um, wafer out. So I'll dimple these and show you how this all works. Um, Again, very simple. A die, so it'll focus. Um, a die that it pushes into. We'll focus on that. Um, yeah, so it slides in there. Push it together. Easy hydraulic press. And um, yeah, I'll show you how it works. focuses on that yeah makes a nice wee dimple um, it's really adds a heap of strength as well having that dimple adds another plane of um, strength which is massive so well worth doing and also looks really cool So jumping ahead a bit here, um, we've got the side intrusion in, um, had a discussion with the, um, the person that's going to own it in the end, um, they're wanting to basically make it as easy as possible to get in, um, but obviously it wants to do its job as well, so um, now we've got a harness bar in here, um, I always like to support the harness bar um, and that attachment point. Um, with the side intrusion, if, if at all possible. It means that it's um, up near the um, driver's shoulder um, or as high as you can really get um, feasibly uh, for your side intrusion. Um, and yeah, then come down, he wanted it nice and low um, to get in and out. Um, so yeah, um, here we are, nice and, nice and low at the front and then comes up at a decent angle um, to, uh, I mean the driver's shoulder is going to be up here but um, it'll protect the hips and um, yeah, do its job. So what we ended up doing was uh, putting some attachment points onto the body again down here. Um, it was a bit tight to run a second side intrusion bar. Um, I do like running a double or a bow tie, um, but it is what it is. 
um, we couldn't quite, we didn't want to bring this one up any higher um, just because it's going to make, too, make it too awkward to get in. Um, so bring it down low, there wasn't really another attachment point anywhere for another one. Um, so we could have brought one from here and come down somewhere, but again it probably would have had to attach this bar. So it was easy just to bring a couple of droppers down, make some more plates for the, um, the chassis there and um, yeah, job done. So um, that's almost the cage finished. Um, I've got another set of seat mounts to make for the other side, and then uh, well the um, uh, racing plates at the front end. So we're at the end, the final moments of me um, having this car in the garage. So it's yeah turned out pretty great. I'm quite happy with it. Um, the customer came and had a look, and he was uh, absolutely wrapped with it. So. Everyone's happy, it's off to paint uh, tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a wee walk around and let you see the semi-final finished product. Um, yeah, it, as I say, I'm happy, um, customer's happy. Everything just slotted in beautifully. So, got seats sitting in here now. Everything tucks up nice and tight around the seat. All the factory um, anchor points for the uh, roof that comes off, the um, hard top, all uh, kept um, here, so yeah, everything functions, everything can come out as normal. Um, good solid side intrusion, um, single bar, but we're tied back to the, um, the body in four places, um, so that's nice and strong. Um, just a bit of, bit of view over there. Uh, got a, a passenger's footrest in. Uh, passenger seat mounts, this is our main seat mounts. Um, you can see there's a 5mm um, foldable plate um, that hugs the original um, floor mounts. Um, they're nice and low, so um, continue to um, keep them. And the seat actually ends up quite low, basically almost on this floor here, um, to get as much headroom around these bars as possible. Um, harness bar in, that turned out cool. And um, yeah, overall nice and happy carpet on this side. Um, I just put um, garage carpet in most of these. Um, something to uh, dry your feet off. Um, you don't realise how slippery your feet are and how good uh, the original carpets are until you take them out and um, go racing. So that's nice and it's so nice and simple. Penny washers, roof nuts and yeah that is it. So hopefully in about a week's time um, we should see the um, the paint come back and we'll come back from paint and see it finished. Then I'll reassemble all the dash and hopefully get a few photos and or a video. So 